Alright guys, welcome back to another video of KingX.X coming to you guys with a brand new video and today in this video we of course got another update in Modern Warfare which this is update 1.15. And we're going to go through pretty much most of the patch update. I'll put pictures on screen so you guys can see what I'm talking about. They're not going to sit there the entire video. So if you want to go back and pause that or you want to listen to me. Or there's also a Charlie Intel link down below in the description. If you guys do want to check out that for yourself as well. But with that being said, there was a 6 gigabyte update or 7 gigabyte update on the PS4. There was an 11 gigabyte update on the Xbox One and 10 gigabyte update on the PC. And it actually brung quite a lot of stuff, surprisingly, for a 7 gigabyte update. So we have a new gunfight map, which I'm actually super hyped for. It's called Bazaar. We also have a bunch of new playlists. We have Dirty Old House Boat, which is pretty much Rust, Shipment, and Shoot House 24-7. We have 3v3 Snipers on Rust, Giant Infection, which is literally just Ground War Infected, which is super crazy. And we also have Boots on the Ground War, Realism Rules, No Tanks. So that's pretty cool for a Ground War playlist. Now let's get into the general fixes where everything starts to get kind of interesting when we get towards the weapons. So we have a fix for a bug where friends who are online and the social tab were not always appearing at the top of the list. Various map exploit fixes, fix for some players seeing incorrect career level, more fixes to regiment tags, fix for some players encountering an issue where their mouse stopped working after the last title update, fixed a bug where the 3v3 gunfight that allowed players to shoot through the center structure on king while using the ax50 fix for an issue that could occur when hardline was earned in specialist quality of life backend fixes to help the regiments and social menus run smoother fix for a spawn exploit on vacant fix for the white phosphorus killing all players instantly when in realism mode we also have trials fix for the score at the end of the fire on the hole not tallying up properly then we go on to the challenges we have a fix for a bug where killing or kills with the enemy weapon karma challenge not tracking properly fix the daily challenges that required you to get an x number of kills with an enemy weapon fix for the objective when completing golem's operator mission that requested five kills with lethal equipment but was tracking with kill streaks alliance objective six complete any four co-op operations has been fixed alliance objective two requires 50 juggernaut kills with the otter as your coalition operator this has been fixed now with the general fixes and the what's new and trials and challenges getting through let's go ahead to the interesting part which is the weapons because there's a lot of stuff when it comes to weapon fixed a bug where players would stop showing level progression level one before their max rank giving the appearance that they are no longer gaining xp striker 45 fixing the range and ads speed to match the description of the 300 millimeter poly barrel so decent fix there for the model 680 slight range increase and the model 680 xrk 30.0 sport range increase slight range decrease and ads increase to the following model 680 xrk 18.0 liberator r9-0 forge tack century origin 12 forge tack precision so those are some big changes for the model 680 probably one of my favorite shotguns in this game it's actually pretty consistent so that's nice to see a bunch of changes for that weapon we also have underbarrel shotguns, increased pellet count, reduce rate of fire, increased shell count to 8, tuned auto swap after ammo is complete, range increase. For the crossbow, we have increased reload speed, so we got a little bit of a buff to the crossbow, which is nice to see. It actually had a very slow reload, so we'll see how much that has changed. Fixed a bug where the Akimbo Snakeshot 357s did not register damage for both guns when firing at the same frame. Nice fix to see there as well. Reduce recoil to the SA87 12.0 or 12.4 factory barrel. Increase close range and damage range for the AK 5.45 times 39 millimeter round mags. I'm a big fan of the AK, so I might have to check out how them them round changes are because that could be very a big change for an increase in close and mid-range damage that could change a weapon drastically so i'm hyped to see that then we go on to the operations which i'm not going to go through everything here but for the classic special operations fix for the graphical bug that could occur on mission disinform while on xbox special operations survival which is a ps4 thing obviously piccadilly fixed a bug where the where helicopters could clip through the building adjusted the cluster strike damage towards enemy helicopters fixed a bug where destroying the enemy helicopter and pilot was not awarding money as intended and the very last one special operations operation crosswind fixed for a bug that could prevent players from using the, cru the cruise missile while having a thermite launcher 
equipped. Operation Crosswind fixed an issue where the juggernaut outside the airport might not pursue players after breaking stealth. And Operation Crosswind fixed a bug where the player would have infinite ammo and standard weapons if jumping out of the plane with the juggernaut suit. There's also a few Call of Duty League changes and Codcaster. And apparently there are several fixes to prevent crashes and improve stability on the PC. So if you guys play PC, those are some nice changes as well if you guys were running into problems with stability. But with that being said, that is pretty much everything in this update. That was actually a really big update. It seemed like it seemed like it was actually really a lot bigger than what we actually got literally the last update, which was 1.14. And that was with all of the new content that ended up dropping. But with that being said, I'm still copying this update and I'm actually just really wanting to play the new Bizarre Gunfight map. I think that map's going to be really cool, so expect a gameplay from me later on today. And expect another gameplay of probably playing Ground War Infected. I think that is going to be a load of fun playing. Can you imagine playing 64, or 64 player Infected? That is going to be absolutely crazy and no idea how that's going to go. I'm not sure if there's helicopters, so we could be seeing some exploits like that, but... Who knows? It's alive right now if y'all want to go play it. So with that being said, guys, make sure to like, subscribe, put on post notifications so you guys don't miss another video. And I'll be back probably with a triple upload today. So be sure to check my channel back. With that being said, guys, have a great rest of your day. I'm out. Peace. The king, give me the throne. I need a queen. She better than most. I need a palace. I need a horse. If you want gold, then I am the source. I need a crown. I need a sword. I got my team. We going to war. You